Hello everyone, Jose J. Garcia with Mobile Home University here, bringing you another educational video. So, mobile homes bought on eBay. Should you buy them on eBay? You know, funny thing about eBay, I, I compared a lot of times to Hubzoo. Hubzoo, for a lot of you who do not know, is a site obviously much like real estate, and you can purchase mobile homes on there as well, but it's a lot more so sight unseen, or if you can see, it's more of an exterior. You don't actually do a whole walkthrough kind of thing in some of these, and it could be different now. I haven't visited the site in a while, but when I think of people investing in mobile homes through eBay, it kind of brings that mindset of, you know, what are you really buying? Can you really go out and see them because that's huge. I mean, that's, that's how you do a proper due diligence. How can you invest in something that you don't know about? That, that's crazy to me. So I'm going to share my screen with you because I want to walk you through some of what I would be looking for if I was going to invest on in eBay. Um, I have not ever bought a, a mobile home on eBay, by the way. So, you know, do I recommend it? No, I don't uh, for many reasons, but you know, for each of zone, you know, if you feel safe, if you feel that you got all the information that you do need, you know, ha have at it by all means. Let me make sure I'm sharing my proper screen here. Fantasia is here lately sharing the correct screen. I've been talking and nobody's seeing what I'm presenting. So definitely don't want that. What I would suggest is make sure that you have all the information that you need up front. I would highly recommend that you're only investing in mobile homes that are in your area that you can visit. And you may have to message the seller, whoever's posting these ads, to make sure that, hey, I want to see the actual inside of the home, right? So you don't want to just buy something that kind of looks something. You don't judge a book by its cover. You definitely don't invest something by pure outside look. So here, hope my video is presenting on here is at this time and what i've typed in on ebay is mobile homes georgia because that's what that's where i'm located before i get into this video here and i'm gonna go ahead and hit search but i would suggest however uh and, and i've done so a lot i mentioned i do not i have not bought the, a mobile home on ebay but what i have bought is a lot of material because you can get obviously a lot of discounted stuff on here and you can buy in bulk as well you know a lot of times some people are sitting here selling things pennies on the dollar from light fixtures to, you know, anything that really I can think of. That was one of the biggest things that I bought on eBay for my homes was uh, was light fixtures. Uh, every now and then we would take it on to more so uh, things to go on the vanity, kitchen, you know, countertop uh, knobs, sort of little things like that. So you just, it's something that you can buy a bulk of, get it cheap by all means. But again, you know, big things I would not suggest, you know, when you think of something like a countertop, for instance, for a kitchen, what are you going to spend on the shipping? You know, it's not worth it. So again, you know, there's other sources for that. You got Craigslist, you got Let Go, Classified, you know, you got Facebook Market. So, but this is just one more avenue that you can get in here and you can search for, for parts for, for a mobile home. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. And like I said, I typed in uh, mobile homes to Georgia. So I want to look and see what we got. So already we have a new 2021, which is not what we invest in, 29,500. That's actually not bad for that year. Now it is only a two bedroom, one bed. So it's small, 12 by 44, very small mobile home. Um, this is more of a tiny house at this point right here. It's two, uh, one bedroom, one bath, very small. So I don't know what to think about tiny houses. You know, tiny house is another mobile home. That is it. You know, they've done this cute little section up front, like your built-in deck per se, you know, I would say remove this and create another bedroom. You know, you're trying to over over satisfy the look versus what it's actually can be made into. I mean, one bedroom, one bath. You know, I would definitely get rid of this and make it a another bedroom. Not to say that I would buy this period and do it. I just, you know, tiny houses. Uh, I think it's definitely a look more than anything. But all right, let's get into the real mobile homes, for instance. Okay, so here, all these are brand new, by the way. 2021s. Is there a way I can change the the year? Which is not going to matter because I want to open one up and just show you what I would look for. Let's keep let's keep on scrolling down for a minute and look at the prices. You know, a lot of people talk about, well, you know, they're so cheap to buy a brand new mobile home. Why should I invest in some of these uh the, these used up ones? You know, oh, here's a good example. You know, what cheap about it is is you can buy a piece of real estate for this amount. So you know, it just depends on where your investment is at, what numbers you're looking for, ROIs, and again, how deep are your pockets. So we're gonna go ahead and pick one of these here. All brand new. Wow. Maybe I should have put a year on here. Okay. So let's look at this one here, for instance. It's in a factory. I, I want to find one that somebody's selling directly because I want to show you a few things. And I guess suppose, you know, the year that they're making these, you know, 21s, they're most likely obviously is going to be a factory. All right. So let me put in a year, see if that makes a difference. Uh, 
and then we got into all kinds of nonsense. All right, so let's go back and we're just gonna click on the first one. So this one, new bedroom, new 2021. Here we go, two bedroom, one bath, 12, 12 by 44, very narrow also, mobile home park, mobile home park model factory. Yeah, they, these are not something I would invest in at all. Very small, very cramped, very nice though, obviously. Okay, what you are looking for on here is obviously condition is new. We know that. The price of what they're asking is this, and it's at a lot. So you understand there's going to be an expensive transportation. Is it part of this expense if you're going to invest in that one? So that's huge number one. And I will start messaging, does this also cover the transportation? If so, what is the distance linked of? Because they may have a clause on here that, okay, we will transfer this within 50 mile radius. Anything above that, you're getting charged 20, 30, even $40 per mile. Keep that in mind, that's huge. So it just depends on that. Another thing that I would start looking for is obviously the condition description, because I want to know, can I view this home? I want to physically be able to go out there, walk it inside out. Now, this is being brand new. Obviously, we, we have an idea. This is more so for something, you know, late 90s, early 2000s that I'm talking about, the, the mobile homes that we would invest in, we coach on. So here we go. You know, all the information you need, uh, show the models, Shipley. Okay, so gives you some details. Nothing wrong with investing, you know, in every avenue possible. Obviously, somebody's buying them and somebody's selling them. That's why they're located on eBay, no different than any other social media platform. But again, it's all about getting all your information, okay? If there's a number that you can call on here, I would definitely call that number and get everything in detail. Um, th this is a dealer, so it's a little more specific and you get everything you need. Very, very nice. But some somebody that's selling their individual home, they're not going to have this type of presentation. I assure you of that. So you have to make that call. You have to figure it out. You know, also, if you are going to move it, because if you see the pictures on this one, obviously it has to be moved. There's no question about it. This is not a mobile home park. It's not on a set foundation. There's no pat under it. It is set here temporarily. So what wind zone is it? Where is it located? You know, I need to know because if I'm going to move it closer towards maybe towards the area of the beach or something, you know, you need a wind zone too. Okay. Clean title involved. Is that available? I would ask for pictures. I would ask for confirmation on some of these. Check with the city tax assessors. Any liens, anything. Again, I keep referring to it, and this would be more so on a used mobile home. Not this one here. This one being brand new, it better have everything and then some. Okay, that's easy to decipher from that. But something that is used, you just have to be able to make sure that confirm everything. Any and every detail that you need, you have to be able to back it up before you place. And I would still be just weary of, I mean, will you really hit the buy button on 29000 or even 10000 for instance? You know, eh, a lot of scam going on on eBay here lately, you know, so just, just a question. I've been asked uh, quite a bit in the past, you know, do you invest uh, through eBay? And I found it kind of humorous at first, but uh, I was asked that a few more times. So I figured, well, let me go and jump in and like i say you know when it comes to actual mobile home uh parts uh, you know light fixtures let's just say uh, parts for the home i would definitely say yes as a go and look at that so you right away you get all this kind of stuff but again don't forget and you know you do have the code garcia 1298 that you can visit uh you know uh mobile home depot so, you know, there's a discount there as well. And like I mentioned, other social media platforms, we're not knocking eBay. I love eBay, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, look at all this stuff here you can buy. And again, you can buy this in bulk. A lot of this is free shipping, uh, overnight shipping. So that there is options. You know, if you could not get to a store and you need some of these in bulk and, and quickly, uh, you know, I would definitely say, you know, check it out. See what kind of deals you can pick up on here. Very nice. I have not shopped for parts for a mobile home on eBay in quite a while so you know this definitely a lot of changes has come through so and it's just all about what you want to do but just keep in mind that a lot of times here if it's not free shipping you know certain things i would not you know try, try to ship something heavier you know even a toilet for instance you know something silly like that paint you know how much does it take to actually ship it by the time you pay for shipping and the actual product it may, may still be a deal maybe something that you specifically just need to have that's something different but I would say, you know, when you count for, for the cost expenses, that, you know, stick to what you what is nearby. You know, Craigslist is huge to find and use parts that you can very well use. A lot of times free. People are giving them away. Just simply come and get this out of my uh, out of my home. And, you know, you get to go with that. So but OK, that is my take on should you invest in mobile homes through eBay? I don't suggest it. 
you know, do your th- due diligence. If it checks out, have at it. Let me know how it works out for you. Okay. If you're looking for coaching, be sure to visit uh, GarciaMohomeUniversity.com. We have some big announcements coming up. Stay tuned for those. February, huge month for us. Stay tuned. Till next time, thank you for watching.